Hello and welcome to the Pearson Communications tutorial on how to find images for your blog or your website. And this tutorial focuses on how to find free images. Um, thank you for joining me. My name is Cherie Pearson and I'll be walking you through 10 ways to find images for your website. Okay. The first place that you can look is the place that we go for almost everything, which is Google. And we're going to go to Google Advanced Image Search. And the way you get there, I already have, have this pulled up on the screen, but the way that you get there is if you're at Google, um, you would just go to Images, select Images in this top corner here, and then you'll see this page. Once you're at that page, you want to click on Advanced Image, image Search. So after you've done that, then you have an opportunity to enter a few different fields here um, and if you want uh, whether you want all of the words or exact phrase or so on but the most important thing here is that we want to look for um, the image license to be uh, labeled for commercial reuse, labeled for reuse with modification, labeled for commercial reuse with modification. Um, and so th these filters are what will actually allow you to use these images that are that you find on Google for free because some images are not intended to be used for free uh, whereas others are licensed for you to be able to use them on your website and one differentiation that they generally make is whether or not you're using them for commercial use or just your personal use like for your blog that's um, not really for commercial use um, so you just want to be sure that you either select label for commercial use or label for commercial use with uh, modification if you're going to if this is a blog or a site where you're making money um, so I'll just give you a quick example let's say that I want to find images of trees and we want it to be filtered for commercial reuse and I'm gonna click Google search and it's just that simple so then we get all of these different images of trees that come up and then we can filter whether the file size is large or anything like that on the side so this is just an overview and this is generally how you would go about searching for these images on uh, just about any site. One thing you always want to remember to do is to give credit to the photographer um, or wherever you got the image from. Okay, so that's how you use Google to find images that you can use for free on your website or on your blog. The next place where you can go is Wikimedia Commons and uh, the link for Wikimedia Commons I'll make sure that for this tutorial I'll put all of the different links for all of these free sites in the uh, description area so that you can easily find them but uh, Wikimedia Commons is a re repository of free images there um, and you can also find sound and other types of multimedia files uh, there as well um, all of the content is in the public domain or it's also released for, under a free license. So the only thing that you really need to do is uh, when you're searching for images is to be sure that you look at the license details because the license details will change um, depending upon the particular image. So in this case I'm just going to search for trees again because that's what we, we looked for the last time. And then it's going to give us a list of uh, trees so if we scroll down here we see various different trees we would simply just select from that list and then find whichever image of a tree that we wanted to use uh, if you click on any one image you're going to be taken to a larger um, photograph of that image this is not really the one that you would want to copy but um, you would go to the actual full resolution size so that you make sure that you have good quality images because that is so important for your your site um, and then you also see details. We find out who, where we get the permission. Permission is granted to copy, distribute, or modify. And so, you know, these are the details, the terms and conditions of you, the use of this particular image. So that's pretty much how you would use Wikimedia Commons in order to find free images for your site. Okay, the next uh, site that we're going to go over is called Stock Exchange. Uh, Stock Exchange has both free and uh, images that have to be paid for. So in this case, I want, uh, and you also need to uh, register and sign in. That's all free. Um, but you would also want to, maybe let's just say we search for trees again here, and it will show us uh, a couple of, of, of different sections. Now if we look at the premium results, and generally these are going to be higher quality, better images 
um, and we can pay you know as little as a dollar for them but when we want to go to the free images those are generally shown in the second section and we see that we have um, lots of different images to choose from and we can again use these for free but we need to give credit appropriate credit to the um, photographer and any other terms uh, and conditions like in some cases you may need to link back to the auth uh, the the photographer or their site so that's uh, that's how you would use stock exchange the next oh and the other cool thing just so you know about stock exchange is you can add these images uh, to let's say you want to come up with a group of them so as you find them you can just add them to like your account there if you go ahead and register and then that way all of your images are in the same place and then you can just download them at the same time if you want to um, the next place where you can find images is Flickr, um, which is a site that's run by Yahoo, and you may even have a Flickr site of your own. So um, this is how you can find images, and people make their images available for use, or sometimes they're private. So what you have to do is go to the advanced search page, which is the page that we're currently on, and we want to enter our um, search query, and we only want to search within the Creative Commons license content. So um, as we scroll down here we want to be sure to click only search within Creative Commons license content if we want only photos like in this case we're only looking for photos of trees we'll click only photos and um, so I'll just enter trees in this section and then we're just going to uh, click return or enter and now we have a list of, of trees that we can, uh, images of trees that we can choose from. And again, the process is just the same. Just make sure you're um, ab abiding by the terms and conditions of the use of that particular image and give proper credit. The next uh, site that we're going to look at is bigphoto.com. And uh, this site is mostly made of photographs that have been taken by amateur photographers. Um, on their holiday or business travels or whatnot and you can use these images provided that you include a link back to the big photo website so if that's a deal breaker for you you may or may not want to use bigphoto.com but uh, they do as you can tell have some um, pretty cool images here and you can search them or look for images by continent um, so you've got a few options here the next site that we're going to move to is freedigitalphotos.net and uh, these photos can be used for personal education and or commercial use but you still have to give credit and they also require that you provide a link back to the uh, the site itself so this is another place where you can find free images the next site that we're going to look at is free photo bank look here I got your attention <laughs> didn't I and type whatever you want into the box they and I'll have say this it for little, you. little thing here I won't stay on the page for too long but anyway um, free photos bank and the free photos bank is works just like the rest of them uh, you basically will go search the images you can download and use any of the images as long as you credit them uh, it doesn't appear that the, that you have to link back to this site so again that obligation is pretty nice to have because if you're using it for commercial use you may not want to uh, have to link back to another site or direct people away from your site um, you also have the option to contact the photographer on this site as well so um, if you want to get their permission to use the image and explain to them why, they, why you're using it uh, this is a site that will allow you to do that the next site that we're going to look at is free, freepixels.com and uh, free pixels the images can be used for both commercial and uh, per personal use and you still just have to credit freepixels.com um, and so they have uh, quite a few different categories of images they have abstract concept architecture nature objects so each of these sites seems to have um, some of them have all types of images like if you're searching through Google or Wikimedia Commons but other ones tend to be more specialized this site seems to focus more on um, you know artistic types things abstract concept um, architecture nature objects food and drinks travel and uh, people so just depends on what uh, what area and niche you're looking at you may have to go to some sites that have better photos for that and keep in mind a lot of these free photos are by amateur photographers so if you're, if you're looking for for a free photo um, 
in, in many cases, you're going to have to sift through quite a few um, if, if you're very particular about what you're looking for. But at least you can find them for free. Finally, um, actually we have two more sites to go. One is freerangestock.com and uh, this site, you, it provides images that can be used for both commercial as well as non-commercial projects. You have to be a registered user to download photos. That is um, free uh, and you also have to credit the name of the photographer um, and you need to provide a link to the page on the, this, this site where the image resides. So uh, probably the best way to accomplish that would be uh, in any image that you post on your uh, blog or on your, your site, you usually have the option to put in the code there um, w to make it a link. So you can do that and that's your way to link the image back to the site. Um, but again, this is one of those ones that since they want you to link back to the site, you have to decide if you want to, um, you know, if you want to do that as a term of the use of that image. And uh, on commercial product projects, I would definitely advise against it. And then the final site that we're going to look at is imageafter.com. And uh, it's a large collection of free photos. Again, you can download, modify, use their images for either commercial or personal use. And... Uh, there's no photographer listed here, so you don't have to credit them, but it is appropriate to credit image after if you're going to use this particular photo. Um, and you need to also provide a link to where the image resides on their site if you're going to use it uh, as a term. So since there, and just in closing now that we've gone through all of these different um, different sites that you can get find free photos on and since we know this there's really no need for you to go out there and see a photo on somebody else's site and just snag it and not use it you know that's that's really sort of unethical and it is against uh, you know the terms of use and uh, of, of most people's photographs I mean you wouldn't want somebody to do that to you so don't do it to them and there are see, these are 10 sites there are plenty more sites where you can find free photos um, for use just be sure that if you're using it for a commercial project that they allow the use for commercial projects because typically they'll have a dividing line between whether or not it's for a personal project or commercial. If it's to make money, they may have a different term uh, of use for that particular image. So um, thank you for joining uh, me again. A again, this is Cherie Pearson. And if you have any questions or you want us to cover a particular thing in a tutorial, feel free to contact us at www.pearsoncommunications.com. Dot com and uh, you can go to the link that's listed right here and we'll also list a link to this in the description uh, of this video. Thanks and have a great day.